Irvin Flood of 1712. Irvin, September 26, 1712. There was such an inundation here on Wednesday last, occasioned by the rains that fell on Tuesday night, and that morning, the water was at least five foot higher than it has been known in any man's time now living. Most of the corn upon the valley grounds was carried off, and several corn mills. The bridge betwixt this place and Kilmarnock, of two arches, is carried away, and the stone bridge of Derwai, within four miles of this place of two arches, each forty foot long, are entirely ruined. River Urban changes its course, 1767. Extract from a letter from Urban in Scotland, November 23, 1767. The late floods have produced surprising changes in the neighborhood of this place, the river of Irvine has broke over all its banks, and, altered its course, and where it formerly ran round a circuit of a mile, it does not now take above 190 yards, and if we consider the fall, and of consequence the force and rapidity thereby produced, we may easily see what effects will be occasioned, by this change. Amongst others, it has quite destroyed some gentlemen's policies, swept away their planting, and divided their grounds. As every flood makes new alterations, I do not know but that it will leave the old river and bridge, and make, its passage by the new town as you go to the ships, or will force its way to the quay where our ships are loading. The water of Anik, which ran into the river of Irvin, is dammed up, and forms a fine large lock. These alterations are truly, wonderful, and in that part where the current has broke out, there seems to be formed a new world. The water rose 14 feet perpendicular. A gentleman's house, which flood by the river tide, was quite surrounded with water up to the slates, and the, rooms filled full of sand, the people got out, but the furniture is greatly damaged. To conclude, I think that the effects produced by this event, are as remarkable as any that have been occasioned in Britain by the fall of rain.